Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I smashed my knee against a smashed piece of metal for a set down. Piece of metal for a set down. Grunts and groans as I shifted up. Grunts and groans as I shifted up. This forgive me. This forgive me. Okay. Okay. I don't have audio. One second. Audio. Oh. Oh. Ah. Check to see if I have audio real quick. Random thing X Y Z. Right. This will have sound. It does not have sound. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, everyone. Let me switch to what we're doing today. properly okay well let's do what we gotta do all right how are you all today good 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 let's uh let's do the thing today we're going to extend this sprite sheet over one more column we want to add a thumbs up. So as you can see, they're all the same format. They just have um, color shifts. They all have an adjustment layer that's shifting their color away, with the exception of uh, this girl here who has uh, pigtails. She has some custom dev, um, but yeah. Let's start by extending our um, doc, our artboard here. Oh, and I also want to turn on my grid lines. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's have it extend from that side. Do, 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 do. Simple enough. All right. I'm going to open up Photoshop. Do, do. Oh, I don't have Photoshop drawing. Because pixel art, as you may guess, is in fact pixel based. Uh, yeah, I'm just using Illustrator to capture this this um, spreadsheet with uh, the frames and stuff. All right, let me do another window capture. This time, Photoshop. All right, well, let's open. Open. Alright, so 
I've got every single one here. Let's, uh, what do we want to, which, which one do we want to start from? Probably idle. Yeah, we'll start from idle. All right. So here we have idle. Let's think about what we want to do. I kind of want to have her face turn to the side, like very slight. Like when you give a thumbs up, you, you rotate your torso, you know, some odd 15, 20 degrees and your face and your head are slightly off center. Uh, I kind of want to give her a lopsided smile and yeah, and have her hand out and maybe a little bigger with the thumbs up. So all I should have to change is roughly like, change her face and change her shoulder. We'll do it, we'll just do right hand. Uh, so let's start with the face. So. Let me make sure everything's correct here. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Don't talk to me. All right. All right, so let's shift her eyes over one pixel. What the? Oh, well, I'm going to turn off the adjustment layers. Oops, nope, not her blush. Not her blush. Not blush. Okay, so her eyes have been shifted over one. Let's shift her blush over one. Uh, let's give her a smile. Let's see how what kind of a lopsided smile I can do here. Yeah, what do you think of it? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll just try a few options here, decide what we think like, makes the best looking smile. Obviously we're doing a low resolution here and on our other friends we don't even render the smile. Like, uh, if you like look at these, most of them don't even have a mouth rendered. The only time we render a mouth is for the talking frame and the jumping frame. So, a smile, huh? Hmm. Huh, okay, this might work. Well, let's move it over. Oh, no, this doesn't work. Okay. Kind of look better from the other side. That might look okay if we move her hair around. Like right now it looks kind of weird because her hair is still oriented straight. Let's, let's just hang on to that for a bit. And let's kind of bring her hair in.
Razor settings, settings were right. Okay. okay. I think that since our arm's going to be up, we're going to have a lot more hair over here. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, okay. This lock of hair that's fallen here is probably going to go... right here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And, uh, well, let's see, maybe kind of shift this. This is not quite right. So when you, like, turn your face to the side a little, your hair profile, um, does it become near? Like, I'm gonna operate under the assumption that this sprite character has a, um, you know, rectangular prism face. And is not, you know, like, alien, or not alien, <laughs> is not shaped like a human skull necessarily. But, like, even so, I don't. I obviously don't have the hair to demonstrate this. If you look at someone straight on, you've got a little bit of hair on the sides. You can see going down. And when you turn it, you gain profile view on one side and you lose it on the other. So we should be getting reduced view of hair on this side. An increased view of hair on this side. Uh, so... Let's operate. This pixel is going to be the lock of hair that's hanging. Um, so we should see. We should have a re reduction of the amount of visible hair here. So maybe something like. Oh, it's meant to be an eraser. about that yeah I think that looks good yeah 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 I wonder. yeah mm. yeah I think that looks good I uh, don't want to mess with the top at all maybe just a little just to maybe like bring this here and then there really draw I'm not really even sure what these four pixels are representing because she obviously has a lot of she's very she has a tall very tall set of hair so since these don't really represent things that have human equivalents they're just kind of like to look cute I think they just should just stay as is all right how does that look does that look like somebody's kind of like looking away you know at a very slight angle and doing yeah and could potentially be doing this <laughs> okay I'm gonna roll with it for now the smile still looks a little um it looks what it looks like is it's more like this kind of smile rather than an open mouth sort of yay but um I just don't think we have the quite have the pixels to represent that kind of smile We'll try one or two things. No. 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 
I think this is this is fine. Okay. Now let's bring her arm up. Oh, and before I forget, let's save this as um, a different version so we don't actually overwrite the old one. One thumbs up. All right, let's bring her arm up. So all of this is gonna go, obviously. Instead, we're gonna get. What we want is. Even like that. I'm trying to gesturally create the idea that there's like a a fold in a cloth. Like obviously we don't have very many pixels, so you just want to suggest the idea that there's um, a fold in the cloth over her arm right here. And then her, I think her hand will be right here. Right-handed, so the thumb is going to be on this pixel, I think. I think oh, this one. Uh, how does that look? Looks okay. I feel like we need a darker shade of skin like this. I also kind of feel like I should be over to the left one more pixel. Like this just looks, it looks too, like too close to her body. Usually when people do this, they, it's very clearly extends out of their body a little bit to like the left or right axis. Especially since they've rotated their torso. So let me let me try moving this over one pixel and see what we can do. Oh, that was one too many. We aren't getting better. We, we are not. This is not improving things. Let me look at some examples. See if we can uh, see if we can find something that's a similar resolution and see how they represent this idea. Alright, let's jump to... Pixel R. Okay, so look around, see what inspiration we can find. So we're looking for something that's roughly this Charmander or this ice cream's resolution, but human being shaped. Like this here, yeah. They don't, well, they're, they're outlining, which we're not doing. That takes a lot of pixels. Let's try searching for thumbs up. This is too high resolution. Uh, this is kind of close, this Sonic here. They've definitely got more pixels than me though, by about 150%. Here we go. This Lucario is about the same. They make it bigger, and theirs also looks kind of weird. 
Let's see what else we got. Uh, this this is Super Mario here. He just goes straight off to the side. Let's see how that would look. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, not you. That was right. So let's try putting it here. What do you think of that? That's eh, not right. This looks better, although I'm not entirely sure what that is. Okay, let's work with this. Maybe when our hair is kind of cascaded over it, it'll look a little better. Um, let's oh, oh, erase you, jerk. Let's erase that and that. It looks a little better. All right, now with those pixels gone, it looks okay. Okay. Let's mess with our hair. So, I want to bring our hair down here, as well as I want a bit of hair to be kind of falling over her shoulder. Yeah, I like. Okay, this is looking much better. Wait a second. Yeah, it still looks a little lopsided and weird, but it's fairly expressive. Let's uh, let's change this pixel back. I was gonna, I was doing like a loop over her shoulder sort of thing with her hair, but I think that gets a little too murky as far as the uh, suggestive, suge the, the you know, obvious, This is a low resolution image, so nothing is necessarily accurate. But the suggestion of a loop here of hair was not clear. So instead, let's just have it kind of curl back this way. And this side over here should become less prominent because uh, she's rotating, she's pulling her hair back across her back shoulder. Like, it's re if it's currently resting, I wish I had hair so I could like show you an actual example. But, like if she has hair that's resting on her shoulder and she turns away, that hair falls back a little bit. And this hair here will retract up a little bit. Uh, is that part of her shoulder? I forget. Let me keep that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Is there a white pixel we can add to her smile to make it look more like she's smiling? Or to make, you know, you know showing teeth? I wonder. Uh, so let's grab, you know, let's grab a white color that is not saturated. This is not possible. Nah. Alright, I think this is the best we're going to get as far as the smile goes. 
right, what do you all think? Do you just like look away and look back at it? Do you get the impression she's giving you the thumbs up? Yeah, I kind of do. Let's uh, do a, a little bit of a ring around her hair here, though. should be going darker so we should actually get more more of these highlights or low lights I mean and this side should get brighter should be more subtle. Okay, that's better. Let's look at her with her adjustments on. Oh, obviously this aren't going to work, so I need to move the masks around. Let's, let's reflect what we got. Her smile is still a problem. Like it's too subtle. It's more like a it's more like a smug grin than like a thumbs up sort of thing. Maybe we should just get rid of the smile. did a bigger smile. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I actually like that too. I think that could work. Why don't we extend the, see, like I thought about this earlier, we could extend her face, spread it down a little bit. And then um, take this stuff and move it down one. But that makes her look like, oh, that makes her look like her jaw is massive. She's Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, that distinctly makes her look less cute. 
just Doesn't do it. Don't want to do. Like I, this, this, these two black pixels at the bottom are important for framing the teeth. Otherwise, they just look like. Oh, let's try it. I guess. It's okay, it's definitely not a smile though. How do we make this look like a smile without adding any pixels beneath it? Yeah, actually, I think that looks good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I think this is definitely the best version. Okay. Let's fix our, our masks, and then we'll propagate this around. Okay, our hair mask should be. I got another draw. Oh, because it's hidden. Okay. There. Alright. Why it takes so long to do it? Okay, it's just a little... Okay. I think we're good. Uh, oh, we need to... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Next is skin. Here. 
pixel here looks natural to erase just because it's a negative space. It's fine, whatever. Alright, where was I? We did a jacket. Pants. Pants isn't changing. Eyes did change. Okay. Bloop. What? Why? What? Why does... I am very clearly selecting black, but I'm drawing in white. What is going on? It should be this distance. It should be right there. Uh huh. Let's adjust our artboard to match. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I did not realize that. Hello. How are you doing today, Brennan? I did not realize that I had the wrong window showing. There we go. Okay. So we got our thumbs up right here. Let's adjust our artboard to match. Do, 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 do. We'll adjust our rod here as well. Okay. So then we just need to copy all of that to the rest of these. These are all 245 in width. Did 
Our artboard should actually be extended in the pixel. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, if you notice, there's a difference here. Hey, I seem to have put it on the wrong um, layer. there. Yeah, put it on the wrong layer. We'll both move it in a moment. Uh, so the rest of the images are the actual image, but then they have a bounding box around them. As you can see, they all have a box. So we need to make a box for our new image. Just twenty four by forty seven. I just think we'll just copy paste this and we'll get rid of our little girl picture and we'll move you into that thing. We'll group the two of you, which moves her to the correct layer, coincidentally. Was in the right position, but I guess we need to increase the size a little more. Getting all this organized so it's correct for actual exporting of the document. All right. She should move. She should move to there. Yeah, there. Okay. And then extend. 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 This is the most tedious part, I promise. How is this one? Okay. Alright, so now we have a good looking document. We got a new column for the thumbs up sprites. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ow! Okay. Okay. That all looks good. She's in the correct position. She looks cute. 
Let's save this. And then let's make the other ones and then we'll add her to the assets list of PNGs to export when we do. Okay, so unfortunately this next part, I've never found a better way to do it. Um, if anyone in chat knows a better way, our goal is to, so the only difference between these three characters is their adjustment layer. They have different sets of colors applied to them through adjustment layer. The only way I've found for rapidly creating, uh, this girl's name is May, creating May from the artwork of this is to copy uh, her, which she, I never given her name, and then type in manually the numbers from May's adjustment layer. I wish, like, one thing I would try to find was, like, um, the ability to use a uh, adjustment layer as a smart object. Or the other way around. Use a smart object as an adjustment layer. Because that way I could create one adjustment layer and apply it to a whole bunch of different sprites. Like, uh, all of these could use, like, the same adjustment layer. And just each one would have a different mask on the adjustment layer. And then I could adjust that same adjustment layer to get different um, characters exported you know, automatically for all of them. But until I figure out a better way to do that, cause you can't use um, a smart object as an adjustment layer, unfortunately, uh, then we're just going to have to like copy paste adjustment layers from place to place. Anyway, let's go back to Photoshop. And we're going to save this as, this time, number two thumbs up. And we are going to open number two idle. And let's see, from number two idle, this is May. All we're going to do is we're going to look at her numbers for her adjustment layers. So we got. 38, 10, negative 62. 38, 10, negative 62. And 38, 10, negative 62. There, we have May hair. Let me go back. Skin, negative 8, 47, negative 7. Negative eight, forty-seven, seven. Let's change that. What's going on? Negative eight. Oh, it's positive forty-seven. There we go. Forty-seven, seven. And then forty-one, seventy-three, three. Forty-one, seventy-three, three. 4173 3 3 excuse me pants 233 -47. 233 this is -47 this is 0 what is -47 Okay. And then lastly, eyes. 35, 27, 22. 35, 27, negative 22. Is that right? That is right. Okay. There. We have successfully produced Thumbs Up May. And what was that like? Two minutes or so? But there, yeah, two minutes isn't bad, but there are a lot of sprites and we have to do this for all of them and it'll only get worse as time goes on, so I really need to find a better method, way to do it. A better method to do it. <laughs> anyway, this is thumbs up too. 
let's save it as Thumbs up three. And let's open number three idle. Jacket matches her cheeks. Purple shirt. So many like beginner tutorials floating around. For beginners! For beginners, for beginners. I need to know how to ah, quickly adjust colors. Anyway, let's just go back and do the tedious part. Alright, where were we? We just did the pants, right? No, we did not do the pants. Alright. 48, 14, 100. 48, 14, 100. Ooh. I guess they are black. Okay, wait. Oh, I did that to the jacket. Nope. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. No, I lost my progress. Okay, fine. How did I lose everything? Did I lose there? Okay, that's so correct. Skin is not. Seven, seven, three, five. I spent a lot of time 
wondering if my selection for numbers in these uh, this, these outline boxes were evidence of any sort of preconceived notions of what people look like. Which they are, obviously, because there's no way I can... I obviously don't have someone in the room with me and be like, hey, what's, num what's you know, the RGB of your skin tone? So yeah, like, I am just making it up on the spot. But I was trying not to, like, maintain any specific patterns to it as best as I could. Alright, 7735. Nope, nope, wait, that's wrong. I'm gonna jack it. 275, 37, 31. Uh, let's see this. All right, four is different. It's four. We've got the little girl with the pigtails. So we're gonna have to do a little extra work though. And that's okay if we do it now because there's no other girls in the same hairstyle after that. We'll have to do the boy sprite and that will involve its own transition. Uh, but before we do that, let's just go ahead and get the numbers from Floridal. Just so we don't have to do this again. Okay. 39, 29, 78. 29 78 skin tone 7 7 72 that one actually kind of bothers me because all it is is a darker version of the previous girl so that's what I'm trying to say about, like, i just trying to avoid patterns like that. Oh, just make the skin tone darker. That'll make it correct. Yeah, don't like that. 345, 41, 6. It doesn't properly capture that everyone has unique skin tones. 345, 41, 6. Okay, we're good. So, uh, why, what, when did that, was that like that for the other ones? Go back 
and check the others real quick. I didn't realize that the skin um, What do we do here? That is just a lot of contrast. I think what we do is we just need to lower this color a little bit. And just a faintest tinge of yellow to it, I think. Like that. Not a race jerk. Is that actually a different color? Do not just change the color. Okay. How does that look with our layers in now? Uh, it's a lot of contrast. Maybe it's okay. I mean, it is more or less realistic. We'll leave it for now. Uh... Okay, let me check the others real quick. Make sure I didn't make a similar mistake. Like number three thumbs up, it looks like. And she has gray teeth. change it. No. Number two. You didn't need it, but you should still just as a good habit move the the skin layer. Okay. So we need to change this little girl to use the number four idle stuff. Okay, so this is number four's hairstyle. We need to rotate her head, you know, 15 degrees, and just adjust her hair for that scenario. It's <sighs> taking a moment to visualize it. Okay. Uh, first off, okay, the eye level is where it stops. First off, let's rip out all of the hair from here down.
So, basically I'm moving the base of the pigtail in about like two pixels. So normally it would be growing out of this corner, now it's going to grow out of here. So, let's start with uh, drawing in sort of the, not the ponytail, what do you call it, the scrunchy part of her hair. I believe would be going like this. Meanwhile, this one is just gone because it's now behind the, the hairline. Uh, I think I need to remove that. Yeah, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that looks good. Uh, like that. Maybe. Uh increase the canvas size on this one just a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my leg. It's growing stiff. I smashed my um, knee against the uh, the metal door of my shower. It's like, I got a big old bruise on it. Anyway, let's add an additional pixel. Two pixels to the top, and one more pixel to this, to the well, two more pixels to the width. Okay. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Uh, so we're trying to get like a. I don't know what we're trying to do. We're just floating through life. Like a butterfly. Bloop, bloop, bloop. How does this work? Let's just throw some stuff around. Let's just like cover the area. And then let's erase what we don't think looks good. I like that. I 
something like that. Something like that. Now I kind of feel like it got smaller than it used to be. Which is not acceptable. It was just like that. That's stream done. Pretty good, everyone. Okay. So, we want to tr somehow capture the idea of a pigtail here. Maybe our scrunchy setup here isn't quite right. Let's try something more like this. It's a little too square. Let's try. Look at that. No, nah, that's too wide. What if we erase here? We leave it to that, and we use shading to differentiate here and here. Like, uh, let's brighten this, like that. And then kind of cut this out a little bit, something like that, something like that. Well, we'll keep that one. Yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little, you know, kind of, meh. Should do that, erase that and that. And this. I don't know. This doesn't look quite right. Let's shift it over. Not quite that far. That far. And fill this back in. Okay, I kind of I like that. I think that lets us get rid of that pixel. Okay, I think that looks good. Uh, let's erase this. Yeah, yeah, okay, this looks good, okay. And then this side, I think it just needs to be shifted over one pixel. No, stop that. And fill it in just a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Likewise, this one's going to use shading to dif differentiate, but this one's going to be even darker. What's foreground, what's background, I mean. That might not even be visible on the other end when she comes out, but we'll do what we can. All right, how does that look? Looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. How does it look with layers on? All right, eye color is correct. Pants color, eye color, jacket color, jacket needs fixing. Just. 
Okay, jacket is fixed. Skin color. I don't think skin changed. Does skin? No, I think that's right. Oh, but um, jacket actually needs this added. Nope, other way around. And then hair. Hair obviously has some extra work to be done. Clean this stuff out. And add in her, her puffy pigtails. All right, how does that look? Is that functional? Is that kind of, is that passable? You, you, you definitely lost all sense of contrast. Oh, uh, well, part of the reason you lost all sense of contrast is because of that. Okay. I wonder, if, is there like a pixel of pink we can throw up here at the top right? I think maybe like this one right here. Let's add it. Oh, we need to turn off jacket first. This one right here. Okay. And then jacket needs to paint there too. All right, let's turn hair back on. All right, what do we think? Are we good at this? I mean, it's low contrast, but that's a really difficult thing to do. You really can't tell the difference in, like, the, the darkness in these areas. You can if you're, like, really... Like, I can tell there's a difference between these two, and... But here, it's just gotten too close. I can tell these are different. But here, it's just a little difficult. But I think it's... I think we got a good result. Yeah, I think we got good results. I like it. All right, let's take a break from that to work on. Let's just let's put those into Illustrator. So I'm saying. All right, let's do it like this. Let's make a new June. Why is it? Up one, I believe. Yes, like that. Is that right? Yes. All right. And then we're going to delete June. And we're going to place we're going to isolate mode, and then we're going to place number two thumbs up. Number two thumbs up. There we go. Da, 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 
da. Why does she look slightly more washed out than that one? But I do think these sprites are looking really good, though. Like, I like it. I could totally be like, yeah! And if you were watching from last time we were making a Simon Says game, we can use this to augment it if we, you know, forget the time to do that. Um, but... Round off our numbers. Isolate mode. Get rid of May. Place in Amy. Where is three? Thumbs up. Her name is Amy. Perfect. And number four. Her name is Sana. Like a part of a set. Woohoo! So if you notice, uh, when you're zoomed out, you uh, they looked kind of like they're blended together. Like you lose the hard edges. In fact, isn't that an option somewhere? So applications will. My sex preferences? Maybe if, if I could show you it'll uh, so there's something called anti aliasing, and that's when. The pixels are smaller than the uh, when, when pixels are smaller than your screen can actually um, resolve because you've what am I trying to say here? So when you've got like a four four pixels by four pixels image and you're watching it on a sixteen pixels by sixteen pixels picture that's full screened that's obviously you know it's four times the pixels that you need in either direction so you're just like one pixel across four pixels of space on your screen they're going to do what's called anti-aliasing which is where they're going to average nearby values to create like a, a smoother transition between the colors and that's what uh, that's what you're seeing here because we're we're on basically as we zoom in it gets sharp again there should be a setting to turn that off somewhere but I don't know where it is we can look at it later okay now the boys the boys are luckily all the same like they uh they don't have one of the pink pigtails, just so we only have to do one of them and then change the colors. Uh, but even so, I think it's best to start with um, June here. And just to fix the hair and jacket. Just because she's already got the body, all we gotta do is, we can, so, there are two options. We can either 
fix the arm or we can fix the hair. Actually, and I'm looking at it, maybe fixing the arm will be easier. Okay, wait, no, it's more than just the hair because we also moved the face over. Yeah, so we probably want to start from June and work our way to um, work our way to Matthew here. Just figuring out what's the path of least resistance. So yeah, we'll start with the the June model and work our way to Matthew. This model's based off of what I looked like when I was a kid. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're going to open Actually, it might be best to start with um, Sana here. Does it look like any of you know, else? Like the thumbs up should be over one more pixel. Uh, I'm not worried about it. So we want to save this as. Okay. We want to open five idle. his colors over. Why does he have no colors? He has no colors. Oh! It's, gonna be an, it's actually, Matthew is actually the base model for all of them. Like, all of the characters are based off of Matthew. So he actually has... Oh! We, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I had the wrong screen shown for you all. Matthew is the base model for all of them. All of them come from Matthew. So you notice he actually just has no adjustment layers. So they're just off. Because everyone is a recolored Matthew. Which means that if we just turn all of these off, voila, Matthew colors. And all we have to do is fix this up for Matthew. Basically, just means removing the pigtails. Matthew's hair in this one is brushed the same way the girl's hair is. Like, you can see the based on my highlights that I gave the boys kind of like a, a twisty. Their hair is kind of like doing this little twist and curl sort of thing. Which the girls should have it parted evenly like this. So we will have to fix that. Oh, my knee. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, all right, let's first fix the things. All right, well, first off, I think that should be skin, not hair. Uh, the boys are parted in the middle, not filled in in the middle. good. And then our highlight should be something like that.
that's good. shorter in general? Huh. How many pixels from brow to top is this? There are the boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From to peak. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it actually needs to be taller, which is not what I expected. I expected it to be the other way around. about right. Uh, I do want to shift his part over one. So that it's tilted slightly. I want to, yeah, actually, I, I was just, just going to say I want to add that pixel there, but yeah, I think this is good. Okay. I think that's it. So, just to save time, we will go ahead and do the ma uh, the masking of the things here, so that we don't have to do it in the next one. Alright, why don't you rotate that? Switchy, switchy, switchy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, is there? Okay. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Alright, is that correct? Oop. That was correct to me. Skin. Skin, skin, skin. Not skin. Skin. Switch. Looks correct to me. Uh huh. Jacket. The only thing we need to do here is remove these. Mm hmm. I already have to Yep. Alright. So, that is Matthew. Ba -da -da -da. Let's save it. As six comes up, we bought number six. Ba -da 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 okay. Alright, so number six. All we need is six idle to get the numbers. Numbers are 15, 68, 31. Fifteen, sixty-eight, here thirty-one. Turn it on. Boop, red hair, perfect. Yeah. All right. Next skin color. Eight and negative eight and thirty-six. Eight. Negative eight and thirty-six. Is that correct? Yes. Jackets twenty-four fifty-two thirty-three. 
four, fifty-two, thirty-three. Yes. And pants, 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 pants. Two, three, one, fifty-two, fifty-seven. Two, three, one, fifty-two, fifty-seven. Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. And last one, eyes. One, five, six, three, three, fifty-one. <sighs> one, five, six. I can't remember because I decided to change it to a song, and that. Somehow occupies the same space that had the numbers 3351. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. There is number six. Number seven. We need to open. Seven idol. Hello, Sean. All right. 23, 28, 212 52 212 52 212 52 212 52 212 52 12 53 yeah he's got the brightest jacket of them all 351 58 39 351 58 39 351 Fifty-eight, thirty-nine, negative thirty-nine, 
and then eye color 41 33 78 41 33 78 which is a little darker okay we did it guys we've done it that's all of them all right let's switch back to illustrator let's bring in our new friends Please. Okay. Right there. Perfect. Why does? I guess he looks okay. It's at a distance. It kind of looks like he has little their, their nostrils. <laughs> it's not a perfect process. I can always update these later. We'll say that the thumbs up sprite somehow looks smaller than the other sprites. But it's actually supposed to look smaller because they're at a distance because you're, 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 you're creating distance between you by framing on the thumbs up. But this looks kind of strange. Under you can adjust it at a later date. Alright, place. Number eight, thumbs up. Alright, guys. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous letters. All right. We need to open up the assets, export thingy. And this, this, oh. this. I'm just adding them. Oh, you can't even see this, can you? Oh, well, right where my mouse is, there's a little window that says Asset Export. Basically, I'm adding the individual sprites to a list of uh, things to export when I tell this file to export, in addition to, like, the whole sprite sheet. Okay. Now we can export. We'll export that. And no. How do I export all? 
I've only selected two of them. What is it? I don't even get it. Okay. Everything is selected. Yep, replace all. We did it! Yeah! Alright, is this updated? It does not have the new one. Okay, all that. We get. Oh, it only exported the individual assets. Hold on one second. I also want to export the artboard. Alright. Yes, perfect. Okay. Alright, we did it. We did it, guys. High five. Okay. Alright. We got 15 minutes. Uh let's just update it's not enough time to like start a new project but let's update our may says game to include the the thumbs up sprite for when you do a good job all right let me get that loaded up Just signing in. All right, give you guys a window. Do, 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 do. Ch, ch. All right. Let's go back to main says. This is the same as it was when we left off last week, so you guys should know about it. Uh, but just to refresh your memory, we'll play it once. Oh, are you guys, hold on. I need to check to see if you guys are getting audio. Uh, yeah, you are not getting audio. So one second, guys. Like, when you capture a window, why doesn't that capture the audio? Getting feedback. We're getting feedback. Oh, yeah. 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 Getting feedback. Actually, don't have those. 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 Oh, actually, don't have those. Oh, actually, don't have those. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're going to capture We're just going to capture everything that goes to my headphones and my voice that I'm speaking with I believe that should give you all what you need Is that right? Let me check Let's see. Uh, my name is May. Let's see. Uh, my name is May. Let's see. Uh, my name is... As long as I'm muted, I think. Because if 
If I don't unmute Twitch, then you'll hear two copies of my voice. But, uh, okay. Uh, I think I that's great. Right. Okay. Do you want to play, May says? Yeah, I do want to play, May says. Yay! Only follow my instructions if I say, May says. If you follow my instructions and I didn't say that, you are out. Okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. May says clap. Say great job to another student. Great job. May says clap. Ha! I got you. Th there are says, inconsistencies. Ha! I got you. <laughs> May says touch your nose. May says, wave your arms. Touch your nose. May says, clap. Poke your neighbor. Anyway, this is the Stop game. Your name. May says, wave uh, your The video library is not the most accurate thing in the world. But we do what we can. Like I've I've uh, looked at the code, the, the numbers that this this uh video motion on stage thing pumps out, and it's just all over the place. Anyway, so if you do a if you like do it correctly, we should show the thumbs up. So let's like let's do my block. Let's do, uh, make one. Thumbs up. Uh, I don't think we need inputs. And then thumbs up. Like, we should have done a my block for this stuff here, but we'll just uh, not worry about that anymore. Uh, so, we want to switch costume to thumbs up. Oh, we need to bring in the app. Bring in the thumbs up asset. Alright. May number 71. Alright, thumbs up. What does that do? Where's that define block go? Oh, it's down here. Okay. Define thumbs up. Switch costume to thumbs up. Ah. Uh, we want to say thumbs up. No, we'll just we'll just do. We it would require like a whole another set of development to do, um, like switching between doing a thumbs up and talking thing at the same time. So this is just going to represent thumbs up, wait, and then switch costume back. Back to idle. Okay. So now, uh, We'll do a thumbs up there if they say they understand. And let's do a thumbs up. I'll switch this for an if else. So we know if they did it correctly. So yeah, so this is a failure state, this is a failure state, and then we'll do... Why are we only waiting one second? Is it a mistake? Hello, my name is May. No, no, sorry. Sorry. Hey. We'll do a thumbs up there.
All right. Let's try it out. Hello, my name is May. Do you want to play, May says? Yeah. Yay. Only follow my instructions if I say May says. If you follow my instructions and I didn't say that, you are out. Okay? Now I don't understand. For example, May says, touch your head. If you touch your head, good. If I say, poke your nose and you poke your nose, bad. I didn't say May says. Do you understand? Yes, this should be a thumbs up. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> she looks so cheesy, just like... Three, two, right. one... Talk your neighbor! <laughs> says, shout your name! Track! Ha! I got you! Dance for two seconds! May says, touch your nose. May says, wave your arms! <laughs> wave your arms! May says, wave your arms! <laughs> she looks so cheesy when she Wave your arms! Ha! I got you! Alright. Alright, yeah. Great. May says... Okay. We did it, guys. We added that for a cheesy looking thumb to like... <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm going to start cleaning up. It's nice working with you all today. Great job. Great job. Alright. I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Boop, 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 boop.